Okay, so in this video, I want to take a look at something uh, pretty different from what I've done in past videos and something I haven't done in my class or on this channel so far. And that is we're going to add some fog to a scene and that's going to require us getting into the shader editor, but it's going to be really simple and really basic. So what you can see here is I have a very basic scene, just four objects and a single spotlight. And here you can see the render that spotlight's just shining down on the three objects, casting some shadows. But what we want to do is add that fog, which will give us that volume metric shape so we can see the cone of that light. Now, this could be useful if you're having a night scene. Maybe you have street lamps that are casting light down onto the street. And this can add some volume to that light and not just have the light and the shadows on the surfaces, but actually be able to see the light in the volume of our scene. So the first thing we're going to do is add a cube. And this is going to be the container or the volume for our fog. Then I'm going to scale that object up and I want to not only include the objects that are in the scene. In my experience, I want to include the camera as well, something like that. Now, depending on the lighting, this will be more or less important. If you don't include the camera, you might get this effect of like a wall of fog going on and it's not going to look great. We're going to come over here to the object properties, which is this orange square. And I'm going to name it fog like so. And we're going to do that for organizational purposes because we're going to make it so that we can't see the fog in the viewport. And this way we can find it in our list of objects at the top right. And then I'm going to come down to the materials. I'm going to add a new material and I'm going to call this fog like so. And now what we need to do is the new part. We're going to come up here to the top left and change our window type or our editor type to the shader view. And here you can see this is the principled BSDF, which is the same material that we just added. That's what we want to change. We're going to select that node and delete that node and then come up here to add and search. And we're going to search for volume scatter. Bring that down over here. I'm going to connect the volume to volume like so. And that's enough to get our fog working. But the density here is way too high. If I was to render this, I think what we'd get is just a black screen. So I'm going to change the value of the density from 1 to 0 0.02. And in my experience, that works pretty well. You can play around with it, but the value of it should be fairly small. We then go back to our viewport. We can see that nothing's really changed here. I'm going to come back to my object properties, and then I'm going to come down here to the visibility. And that might be collapsed. You can open it up. And what we want to do is we don't want to show this in the viewport. So if I uncheck a viewports, it disappears from the viewport. But we want to make sure that the renders option is still checked right here because we want this to show up in our renders. You could turn off the selectable. I don't know what that would do since we can't see it. I don't know how you would select something that you can't see, but you can turn it off if you'd like. Now that we've rendered that and we are denoising this render, you can see that cone of light or that volumetric shape of the light coming from that spotlight. So there you go. This is really simple fog and you can go more in depth and make it fancier. But for low poly work, I think this is pretty good. I'd encourage you to go in and play around with the fog density and the color and intensity of your lights. Get the effect for your scene just perfect.